Jody Stafford. Mandarin Miss, she's 1-2 to two with Bill, Bill O'Donnell. She's finished second three consecutive times. Leslie's Blossom at 25, Robin Redbreast at 14. Concubine is at 99, No Sweets with Campbell at 7-2. to two. Fish is Fish at 35, Tang at 60-1. to one. Foolish Willow at 14. Broadway bound at 25 to 1, and from the second tier, Gwyn Jin at 90 to 1. This is the final division of the Sire Stakes for two-year-old pacing fillies. They're off. Off stride for just a moment was H.H. Adore quickly recovering the race for the first turn. Robin Redbreast on the outside and H.H. Adore toward the inside. And in between those two, it's Leslie's Blossom. Mandarin Miss now fourth toward the rail. On the outside, Foolish Willow now races fifth. And then it's Gwen Jin now racing sixth on the inside. And uh, off stride there goes Mandarin Miss. The favorite goes on a break, but uh, recovers relatively quickly. They round the first turn and hit the quarter mile mark in 30 and two fifth seconds. And from the outside, Robin Redbreast now is up to take the lead. H.H. Adore now yields and races second by two and a half. Leslie's Blossom is third by four. Foolish Willow is racing in fourth position. And then it's Gwen Jin now racing fifth. Three wide down the back stretch goes Broadway bound. And uh, then in between horses, it's Concubine. And toward the inside, Mandarin Miss now. And she's been shuffled back to eighth. A gap of four back to Fish is Fish. Then it's No Sweets. And off stride now trailing is Tang. Tang is on a break to half in one minute and two-fifths. And now the field rounds the final turn. The leader is H.H. Adore, and Robin Redbreast now back racing in second. Leslie's Blossom is racing in third, and Broadway Bound is first over and gaining ground now, and following her around the turn, it's Concubine, and to her inside, it's Foolish Willow, who now races in seventh position. Then farther back, Gwen Jin and Mandarin Miss. Far back now as the field comes to the top of the lane, moving from the back of the pack, no sweets, and she's four wide for the stretch drive. Three quarters up in 131 and two. It is H.H. Adore now in front and driving hard. And on the outside, Robin Redbreast now coming hard. Robin Redbreast on the outside. H.H. Adore toward the rail. Those two going at it. And then it's no sweets on the far outside. Mandarin Miss. Remarkable effort here. Coming to the wire. Mandarin Miss has it. Mandarin Miss had some problems early in this mile, but she got rolling late. It's always a risky proposition taking a one to two filly uh, who's not won a race yet in the mud in conditions like tonight. And Mandarin Miss did make her first break tonight, first turn, recovered. And she's going to circle horses late, and it's only a 201 mile, so it's not as impressive as you might think. And she'll wind up the winner here. She's 0 for 5 going into the race, and Mandarin Miss threatened to become this year's Oriental Avenue, who last year was 0 for 14, but with 9 seconds and 180,000. And for second in this mile, no sweets, John Campbell, Randy Taft. That's between horses the far outside here comes Mandarin Miss no sweets only has one good line on her card out of five but that was her last race when she came home in 28 and change and she went on the engine for Randy Taft and Mark Schwartz but tonight Mandarin Miss stamped herself as a major course if she can stay flat and who is that masked man Bill O'Donnell gets his second winner of the evening Mandarin Miss three dollars two forty two twenty no sweets three dollars two sixty Broadway bound four sixty the two six exacta nine dollars and twenty cents the Super 6, it was hit tonight. Two winning tickets, each ticket worth $15,136. Two handicappers out there, don't mind the rainy weather at all.